So I have to fight my way back over to where we were at. Took a break and went through and this is how it works. Actually, I, I think this is really important for, you know, people who aren't playing the game to see like what happens because it is a mobile game. If you are playing on your phone and you quit out of the game or you suddenly have to stop or you lose connection or just like a myriad of things that can happen on the phone. It just, if, if you're gone for long enough, it just puts you right back towards town and then you jump back in and do your thing and you pick up where you left off. I'm not sure how that's going to work with rifts. So let's say for instance, you have a rift that you're empowering with one of the gems. Does that mean, or runestones or whatever they're called, does that mean uh, if you disconnect and you come back, you lose it? Kind of something to consider. It is an interesting... It is an interesting conundrum to try to solve because on one hand, you don't want players abusing it, right? You don't want a person like me being like, oh crap, I'm not going to complete this rift and I don't want to waste the the stuff that I have um, empowered with. So let's, let's close out of the game and come back. And the result is going to be that I get my stuff back. Ha <laughs> ha, right? And then you can cheat the system. Then you can fish for the right rift to get your empowered stuff done, get the right rewards. Seems a little tedious, actually it is extremely tedious, but you know, to some degree people already do that in Diablo. <laughs> like we're already fishing in Diablo 3 for the correct set of enemies and tile set in order to even like get, get the proper rift cleared up. So, you know, it is an interesting conundrum to try to solve. That is for sure. I'll try to group these guys up. Put the palm on. Dash away. Use this. And I I do quite love this new uh, experience we have with the monk. Oh my goodness, is it fun. I am loving it. Uh, I see that there is a... Yeah, let's pick this stuff up. I see that there is a waypoint over here, so I'm going to go grab it real quick before we head up. And I think it's worth mentioning that is a nasty looking demon. Oh, I can't even get up there, can I? All right, that's fine, I, I suppose. Can I not go out? No, okay, that's fine. Uh, let's just let's just kill this stuff. We could, we could probably use the experience points at this point. It's fun, it's definitely fun. <laughs> it just does so much damage. Um, one thing to consider is that I'm I'm at this point showing you guys a lot of like the early game of Diablo Immortal. And there's nothing wrong with that, right? Like, sure, if you're gonna be playing this game seriously on the phone uh, or on your tablet or however you wanna do it. By the way, I'm still playing on my phone. I haven't switched to the tablet to try that out and see how it works. But if you're gonna be playing this game mildly seriously or going kind of ham on it, then you're gonna end up in a situation where you're going to be focused more on the end game. And this this early stuff doesn't quite matter. But for the majority of people who just are going to download it and try it out, this stuff does matter. Uh, get her to the sacrifice. This guy's stealing my thing. Do I have to follow him? Reach the Sanguine Ruins. I did. Okay, I do have to <laughs> chase them down here. Before we do that, um, I had first kill of the day reward for this one. Oh, we got some... Um, rare gauntlets that we can't even use because they require level 45 but my goodness we will keep it level 45 hell yeah <laughs> we have a, a level 45 item now to be able to use i thought it showed that i had another thing here but i'm not seeing it what, what can we do from the shop so we have 1500 of platinum used in specialty shops and services including crafting legendary gems interesting so I can, I can straight up buy platinum. Um, these are stones. This is a legendary crest. All right. I, I'll have to take a deeper look inside of that before I like spend any time on video with it. Oh, now we're going to get the uh, waypoint. See, didn't even need to go up there and try. But this, this look at the game, this early look of just kind of going through quest by quest, leveling up in a very bog standard kind of let's play. 
I think is, is going to be valuable for the majority of people. I would say uh, a smaller percentage of you are actually going to go ham on Diablo Immortal. And I think that's fine. But but being able to, to showcase the game of how it is right now, I think is really powerful because it should... What's that guy's name? Tanks, bro. Uh, got it. I, th I think it's really powerful because it shows you straight up like... Hey, this game is really good, and it's in technical alpha. Uh, Lien, gods, you're hurt. Who did this? Where's Lakari? Blood. The Rose is drinking their blood. It has the others. I barely got away. Heavens above. Listen, Lien, I need you to hide, all right? I'm going in there, and I'm going to kill that thing. But you cannot come with me. Hide and wait for reinforcements. Stay safe. I, and I will return as soon as I am able, all right? Keep going. I'll try. All right, we can, we can do this. Easy peasy. Someone's approaching. Feed the corpses to the rose. Oh, that, that did just, like, phase me? I think it did. Oh, man. I love that <laughs> exploding bomb. Holy crap, is it good. Yeah. <laughs> that corpse went flying. That was great. I really like that. I don't know what it is about ragdoll physics, but it always gets me. It's always quite funny to me. Uh, in in Diablo three, especially like when you when you don't just die, you like really die. I find that really hilarious. You just go like flying. I like you're playing with a group of friends. You you see one of your friends just go flying across the screen as they die. Always entertaining to me. All right, we got. So this is. Um, I'm gonna pop a heal. Whoa. We dash through that. I think I did avoid damage. Dash back. Nope, because I fat fingered and totally missed. So is that fat finger or skinny fingering? Beg your pardon? Oh, I got stunned. I think, uh, I think this is kind of an interesting boss thing. It's definitely unique. <laughs> That's fine. I'm okay, I'm okay with taking some flowers to the face, I suppose. Can we just bomb them all? Oh, I probably should put an exploding palm on them. Oh, no. I, th I think I'm not seeing that when I dash out of it. I kind of wish I did. You die. Oh, good riddance. Can you get anything from that? Ah, I get knocked back. <laughs> this actually made me jump. <laughs> Hello there. What have you done? Fortunately, the rose yet lives. I should kill you where you stand, but even your foul blood may not be enough after you've wounded the blood rose. No, I will not leave things to chance any further. The blood, blah, blah, blah. But I can't have you interfering. <laughs> Stand there and witness your failure. I'll tell you what. Music in Immortal is quite good. It's unfortunate. A lot of people are going to be, uh, Mistress, I give that up instead of me. Take everything in life. My blood is yours. Okay, blah, blah, blah. It was merely a setback. I find it interesting. Most people are going to be playing on their phones and not really get to enjoy the quality of sound here. But yeah, that's... That's essentially, in my opinion, one of the better parts of Immortal is the sound design is really, really good. It, it feels like a you know, full-blown Diablo game in that regard. All right, we just have to fight this boss again with more mechanics because it was indeed really just a setback. It's fine. It's fine. I can, I can dodge things. Okay, we got a laser beam back. I'm okay with fighting this boss. Like, I, here's the thing. I think I'm okay with fighting any boss in this game because they give you so many more mechanics to think about. It reminds me of playing the Diablo 4 little thing at, at BlizzCon last year. Oh, move away. Okay, yeah. Definitely gives me World of Warcraft vibes. <laughs> Which is a good thing for me because I quite like those encounters. It is done. I feel the blood once again. Rise my servants. Slay all who oppose us. Okay. Yeah. Just pump them up. Blow up. 
Yeah, I'm about it. Keep Oh, no. I'll, I'll continue my Diablo 4 thought in a moment because I do think it is quite relevant. I do like these mechanics too. Can I do this at the same time? Yes, I can. Nice. Let's get in there. Come on. There we go. One more life bar to go through here. It, it, I like that when you deplete a health bar, it gives you a bunch of globes. And that's important um, to, to realize because it actually gives you... Oh, wow, I got stuck in my dash. It gives you an understanding of, like, I can gain a heal here without having to use a potion. We'll get out of there. Use this. Can we dash away again? There we go. Put that down. We did it. There is always more to understand. We also got something. At least the creature will no longer poison the land. Feature gem socketing. Hell yeah. Legendary gem crafting. Um... I, I wanted that gem socketing to happen, so let's definitely go back and get a legendary gem equipped, I guess. So one thing I was gonna mention, oh, it did it did just zone us. Oh, that's interesting. One thing I was gonna mention is like in the Diablo 4 thing that they had at BlizzCon last year. Um, okay, essentially how it works is you have the big open world like you do here. Um, and just like, you know, just like playing Immortal, you're, you're essentially going around like big, bigger zones than this, much bigger zones than this. And there's, you know, things around the map. But it sometimes will pop up with like, hey, there's a big uber boss on the map. Go and kill it. And other people will be there. And it increases the cap of uh, players that can be in an area from like, like a few to 20. So suddenly you have this huge like boss fight going on. It feels like a raid boss in World of Warcraft. It felt great. And even in the early stages of Diablo 4, like, it felt really cool to, to go and do that. Um, and a lot of these bosses that I'm playing in Immortal feel like that boss did, where it's like they have multiple mechanics. Like that one in particular, you would break down, it's, it had like separate arms. And once you broke down one of the arms, it would take additional damage. And I really, really love that idea. Lien. Hemlir. Lian, dozens of our sisters, all of them laid down their lives to prevent uh, evil from returning. We cannot allow such sacrifices to be in vain. The Blood Rose is dead, but Lakari gave up her life before I could stop her. The Countess will return. Then she must be slain. There's no other course, no other way. An evil like that cannot possess an artifact like the heart of creation. It will not be easy, but you must act as the Heroes of Sanctuary did. Join Cassia and the others at the Forgotten Tower and end the curse upon this land. The magic of the waypoint here will make your journey faster. Go for it. The world depends on this on your task. Okay, that's fine. I'll use the I'll use the waypoint. Thank you very much. Alright, let's go. Where are we heading to? Uh off over to the tree, but I don't want to do the tree yet. Can we zoom in? Oh yeah, pinch to zoom. Does indeed work. It's not super responsive. I was expecting it to like zoom me in a bit. I had to pinch like three times to get it to zoom in as much as it did. That could be improved, I think. Um, let's see here. What could I Actually, do I don't want to hmm. back do to work then. Yet. I want to equip some stuff. So that gave us another rare weapon. That was an offhand weapon. It gave us I think. Yeah. And we, obviously we can't wear that. But uh, we did unlock gem stuff, right? So can I do, 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 which piece was it? It was this one. Can I like drag? Okay, no, it's not gonna let me drag it. <laughs> How do I equip it? Dang it, I really like it. Do, 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 do. Your attacks have a 10% chance to call chain lightning. That sounds so freaking cool. How do I get it in? Actually, am I not able? Here's the thought. What do we got? Life, offense, defense, damage. Is it? Is it then I can't um, equip a legendary gem? Actually, I'm not sure. So let's pop up. It did say that I got the thing. Maybe actually, here's here's a better way of doing this. Can, what could I do? Can we go for you? services. Can we get rid of all the stuff that we have? 
that we're not going to use. Obviously, minus this one. I don't want to get rid of that. A bunch of materials. I don't see a gem thing here, which is fine. Can we upgrade this? Not quite. Need more materials. Most appreciated. Okay. Well, that's fine, I suppose. I do kind of wish, and I guess this is a bit of feedback. Okay, I got this as a thing. Obviously, I have the bestiary. I could gain a bunch of rewards from that. In fact, can I come over here and look at it? Did I get any bonuses from it yet? No, I don't think so. Maybe it's because I didn't actually bring stuff back to it when I was playing the other day. Not sure how that works quite yet. And we have an identifier, which that's also not what we're looking for. So it's said that I unlocked the the gem stuff, but I'm not sure um, quite how to do that yet. But you know what? This, again, this goes back to feedback. It's good feedback to be like, oh, I'm not understanding what to do here. It, there was a lot, a lot of stuff going on all at the same time. And uh, it didn't quite give me the necessary uh, direction to uh, figure out what I was supposed to be doing. No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do the Forgotten Tower game. Also under attack. From things that I don't need to kill. So I'll dash this way. Ooh, there is a cursed chest. Hell yeah. Stack these guys up. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you. Exploding Palm. It is always going to be a great ability. It's like Corpse Explosion. You know what I mean? It's, it's always going to be cool. Did I do it? Did I do the Cursed Chest? Oh, heck yeah I did. I got two chests from that. Wow, that felt so good. That was really, really, really cool. I'll take it. Um, let's kill these guys real quick. Mostly because I'm just a monster with damage at the moment. And I want to take a look at what I just got. Because I got better main hand weapon. Yeah, we'll, we'll equip that. I wanted to take a look at it. It just seemed like slightly more damage than the other. That's fine. Fine with me. Kasha and the rogues are here. They must be already inside. Yes, let's, let's do it. Let's do it solo because I'm feeling like I am a solo it king. Fades. It is impossible to escape. I will not submit to this truth. I am beyond the pitiful laws of tiny men. Their blood will serve me. Fulfill my purpose. My splendor. Reborn from their pain. And my beauty will never fade again. That's cool. <laughs> I I feel like um the aesthetic that they've gone for does match the kind of animated cinematics of Diablo 3. Kind of yeah, the drawn ones. And I, I really like those. But at the same time, everything else feels very Diablo 4, which is also a good thing. As I mentioned, like, towards the beginning of this, it kind of feels like an amalgamation of Diablo 3 and Diablo 4. And that's not a bad thing. It's like Diablo 3 is still a good game. It, uh, if people have their issues with it, sure. I understand that. But the core gameplay loop of you running around attacking monsters feels freaking amazing. And even though aesthetically the game departs from the previous games, um, I think it it has a very specific look to it that, that works for it. It doesn't work for everybody, right? Not everybody is going to like that, but I think it works for it. And in particular, I think that, uh, I think that Diablo 4 returns to the roots, so it's okay to have a mobile game like Diablo Immortal kind of take um, take a different route and see what they can do with with more of that middle ground between D3 and D4. It works for me. 
In fact, I think, and I'm going to declare this now, based on what I have played, past and present, um, this is the perfect game to bridge the gap between Diablo 3 and Diablo 4. As someone who has played all three of these games, Diablo 3, Diablo 4, and, and Diablo Immortal, um, this, this definitely feels like a great waiting room game. <laughs> You're like, come on Diablo 4, come out. Personally, I can't wait for Diablo 4 based on what I've played. But again, things may change. We'll see how this ends up working out in the long run. Can I stack these guys up? All right, let's... Ah, I got locked into a spot there. Back this out. Stack them up. Man, those big EP explosions feel so good. Uh, let's get that health globe real quick. Stack these nerds up. I'm more worried about killing off the priestess than I am this one. Or I guess this one is also a priestess. Let's go ahead and pop this. If I can actually hit the right button. Let's also spread some exploding palm. Because as we all know, that's a lot of extra damage. <laughs> That is really easy to get onto enemies. Oh, I did that wrong. One right there. I, th I think I still hit that wrong. Oh well. Okay, let's pull this person in. Let's dash out. Let's do. Oh no! Oh no! I had. I'm sorry. I'm back. I, I had filled up my iPhone storage apparently because obviously I'm just doing screen recording on the iPhone. Um. So I went and deleted some of the old episode footage from before freed up some space, but I killed the thing. It was almost dead anyways. You didn't miss anything. Okay. Dying villager. You're too late. They're all around us. She raised an army. These, the sisters have the strength to put this many down. Hope has abandoned us. All right. Well, you haven't seen my monk. You know what I mean? Open that door. Defeat followers of the countess within the time limit. Oh, time limit. Okay. That's fine. I'm, I'm actually quite okay with the time limit due to us having an absolute monster of a build now. It's funny how that happens, huh? Where I'm like, oh man, I, I, uh, I'm really struggling with the monk. Oh, the monk, 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 monk. It hurts. Everything hurts. And then I get like a couple good items and exploding palm and now everything's hunky dory. Everything's fine. Everything, I love it. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun. <gasps> Lots of fun. Just exploded that person. <laughs> Intruders have breached our gates. Yeah. Don't worry. I'll clear you guys out. Y'all gonna die down here. Succeeded. Well, that's good. I have a minute and 31 seconds, it looks like. Uh, dead end. I'll have to find my way. For okay, so it looks like this is probably always going to be a dead end unless they randomize it anytime you do this one. And I got hit by that stupid thing twice in a row because <laughs> it came one way and then went back the other. You know what? I'm also okay with traps doing that much damage. That feels about right. It, it, you know, you got to punish the player for being that dumb. Yes, I am included in that. Wait, whoa, whoa, that was... Oh, I see it bounced off the wall. It's like, I didn't do that. Come here, nerds. Let's aggro you all. Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That feels real good. That feels real good. <laughs> Let me guess, this is going to be a dead end too. Doesn't matter. Let's get everybody grouped up. Yeah, including all you nerds. Okay, we're just going to hit this button. And then just blow everybody up. <laughs> and this is how you play a monk. It's, it's so much fun. A thousand and one yeah. gods Can we right just me. go ahead and aggro all that's here? Um, let's get those guys this way so we can charge this up. You gotta love it. You got. You gotta. Love it. This feels so good to play. I take it back. My barb is only okay, but now that I have exploding palm, I, I I love the monk once again. Again, let's let's get all this stuff grouped up as much as I can. Just aggro everything. Yeah, so many enemies. So many enemies. 
Oh no, I whiffed on that. I thought I charged it up enough. Doesn't matter, exploding palm is <laughs> overpowered. <laughs> I love exploding palm so much. Hey, five bonus chests or something. Mm. We're doing it so fast. You know what? I'll take it. Is it a boss fight? It is. Bring it on. Woman. Oh, she's like full on vampire mode. Cool. Countess. Here you are. Let us begin then. All right, that's fine. We can do all the beginning you want to do. All right, that was um, not difficult to dodge, but that would be tight timing if you don't have a movement ability. Kind of feel like it's almost required so far in the game to have some type of teleport or dash or something like that. It's going to be hard to get away without something like that just because of how the bosses work. Nothing wrong with that. I think if you're really trying to, I don't know, um, do group riffs, for example, and you're like, I really need an actual, like I need Zen shield for the monk. Then yeah, I could I could see it being like okay, that's fine. Let's let's not use a dash, even though it's hyper good to have in order to dodge things. I can put explain palm on all that. No, nope, not all of it, but most of it. Uh, let's take this one out. I don't quite care about the guy with the shield too much, but we'll clear it out just cause. Also, let's go ahead and do this. That felt good. That felt great too. Man, these boss fights, I'm telling you, are so cool. Oh my goodness, look at the loot. Oh, this is a Diablo game after all. <laughs> Chef kiss. I earned a lot of extra chests. Oh, is this a uh, world stone? Yeah. Cool. Uh, she's dead, then it is over. Well done, hero. Come, let us return to something. <laughs> I'm so... So, so, so... Under the vast expanse, quick with reading those. And I still am not quick enough. Boop, boop, boop. This feels amazing. I love that loot explosion feel. Especially because, like, I, I feel like I earned those. It, it straight up gave them to me. It was like, hey, you earned these because you did it so quick. I don't know how many you can possibly get, but that felt really good. Um, I already have some rare shoulders, so mine are technically better. It, says, it shows more power, but that's because it has a socket on it. Um, this is much, much better. And, yeah, I think the rest of it we can get rid of. Let's go back to town. Yes, I would like to leave. This game, though, shockingly good. I'll tell you what. 